Hey there, man of church. We're in our morning manna. I want to talk to you about David. It's from David's line that Jesus comes. Everybody looks back in honor at David, this tremendous king. And he really does some crazy, awesome, wonderful, uh, amazing things. But also, he's got some pretty big foibles. Uh, for all the places where you look and go, man, uh, David led the, led the Israelites in tremendous victories. You've also got those places where David is an adulterer, David is a murderer, David is prideful, he does all these other things. And yet, David is so treasured in the Bible and so treasured by God. Let me turn, if you will, to 1 Samuel um, chapter 13. And so in 1 Samuel 13, God's actually talking uh, to Saul. And God's talking to Saul through Samuel the prophet, and he's letting Saul know, I'm gonna take the kingdom from you. Verse 14, but now your kingdom shall not continue. The Lord has sought out a man after his own heart, and the Lord has commanded him to be prince over his people because you have not kept what the Lord commanded you. I think that is the secret to David. He's a man after God's own heart. If you go all the way into Acts, and Paul is in Antioch, Poseida, and he is talking about uh, kind of the lineage. He's bringing up to Jesus, and he talks about David, and he doesn't talk about David's great victories. He doesn't talk about everything that David was. When he talks about David, he quotes 1 Samuel and says, this is a man after God's own heart. Here's what's interesting about this. 1 Samuel 13 is before Samuel has ever seen David. It's before David has done any mighty works. It's before David has brought to him any mighty men. It's before any great victory. That's what we like to look at. Look at all the great things David did. Here's what God looks at. David was after the heart of God. And in 1 Samuel 13, that's when David is just watching some flocks of sheep, but in his heart, He's pursuing everything that God has. I think that's a key for us. It's not about how many great things can I do for God. Um, well, I'll be, I'll be after God's heart when he brings things to me, when I'm highly favored, when I reach this spot. No, David, all by himself, when he's alone, when he's a child, when it doesn't seem like anything is going for it, David's heart is to pursue God. And when David was after God's heart, he found God. And because he found God, he walked with God, and God worked for him, God worked through him, he was always ready to repent and turn back to God. David was after God's heart. So here's my advice to you, here's my advice to me. Today, every day, more than what I can do, more than the victories I wanna have, let me, let us be people who are after the heart of God.